Hello kids, uh, this video is about the fourth session of summer camp portrait and uh, I'm sharing the work that we have already done during that session. So here we have uh, drawn a Frida Carlos portraiture using a graph method. This technique helps you to transfer a photograph okay, on your art sheet. So let's continue with this. At first we divide a paper in two equal part vertically. So just draw a line here in middle. Don't dark it much, keep it light. After that, we'll divide our paper in two equal part in horizontal manner. Then we'll divide this upper section again into equal part. So we'll draw one more horizontal line. Then in the lower part also, we'll divide it into equal part. We'll draw a horizontal line there. Then as we have two vertical sections, so we'll divide this right side again draw a vertical line try to uh, mark the measurement as equal as you can okay. now once you're done with this first here on upper section a main face uh, will be in this main four block in this middle four block. Okay. So we'll start with this part. So here I'm marking a dot. So this graph technique will follow the idealistic portraiture or a self portrait that usually Frida Kahlo painted. Okay. So the Frida Kahlo is a Mexican artist and she is quite popular for her self portraits. So we are just drawing one of her portraiture here. Now, we'll draw a curve, this point till this point. You need to understand how much section I have utilized for this curve of this upper two blocks. Now, after this, we'll bring this curve down from here. Okay. Till this point. Okay. So you need to understand where I'm marking this point on this block. We'll follow the same process on opposite side. Initially, uh, keep your lines quite light. Once you think they are good, then you can dark it. <clears throat> then we'll bring this curve down and define the complete structure of this face. Now we'll add jawline. this side also bring this curve down a wet slightest variation in this facial structure is okay we'll focus more on the features which is an important part uh, to define someone's character but here as this basic structure you can understand this is more like an oval not a round shape so you need to understand this see it is more an oval now after this, we'll add ears. So for that, I'm marking one dot this side and one this side. And then we'll start with that from this part. From here, we'll bring this curve up and then we'll bring it down. So here we're drawing ear according to the portraiture. And for this side also, we'll do the same. Bring this curve up, bring it down. Little variation is completely okay. As this section, we don't need to maintain such symmetry. And here is not about maintaining a symmetry, but is main uh, important thing is about we are transferring a photograph onto an art sheet so we need to follow the graph according to that photograph okay 
Now, after this, I'm defining the eyebrows section. So first, I'm defining this curve. This side and this side. Now, this section needs to be quite symmetrical. Okay. See here where I have placed this curve. And then Turn this section upside here also. After this, we'll define nose. So first we'll draw a circle here in this on this plus sign. So this section is of our nose. Now, moving forward, we need to define eyes. So here I'm marking one dot. Mark one more dot, this side. And we'll mark the corner of eyes using this measurement. As you have learned in previous session that a distance between two eyes is equal to one eye. So we'll take this measurement and mark our dots corner of eyes accordingly. Slightest variation is okay, but just try to keep it quite similar. Now, first we'll define upper eyelashes. So in this section, we'll draw this line. Then we'll define the lower one. So, uh, Frida Kahlo's eyes appears to be quite small, not that broad. So you need to maintain that thing. And try to make both the eyes quite equal. After this, we'll define the skin fold here on upper side, on this side also. Just a slightest curve here downside. We'll define the curve here for pupil. Go for this one. Then after this, we'll define nostril. So uh, the nostril will be in line with the tear duct, I mean, the starting or the corner of this eye. So we'll draw a curve over here. Follow the same. We'll draw a curve this side. And then We'll draw a line here in middle. Do not connect this with nostrils. After this, we'll define lip. So first, we need to define a middle line. So the corner of lips will be in line with pupil, the middle part of the pupil. As the lips appears to be quite little bit uh, small and they are not smiling okay the expression is quite default so what we'll just make this corner little inside not exactly on the middle line here also we'll just shift them quite a bit inside then we'll draw a curve here and we'll connect this curve with the corner Do the same for both the side. Okay. Now after this, we'll define the lower lip. You have a clear view here. Okay, in this close up. And then 
we'll define lower level like this uh, don't connect it completely with the corner you can just keep it as it is now here on ears we'll just define one more line like this both the side then we'll define neck starting from this point here see this is almost in line with this lip and bring this line down also bring this line down now after this we'll define shoulder line starting from this point bring a curve down clear and you can observe how it is crossing this block but nothing to be much specific the curve could be wave according to you but just you need to understand how much section uh, we have utilized here on this block we're following the same this side while keeping a little variation as we're defining a cloth so what we're just adding some kind of variation like this okay now after this we'll define hairs so um as Frida Kahlo's iconic uh, characteristic for hair is like she's wearing a flower bunch over the top, a bunch of flower here. So first we define the basic structure of the hairstyle. So what we do from this side, we'll bring curve up like this. From this side also, that slightest curve here. And in this part, we'll add flower. So here we're creating an impression of flower. We don't need to draw each petal specific. And uh, we'll just add the expression. <clears throat> to define that, just add such curves here, like this. So this is just like to define a top view of a rose. Hmm? So, like this. Okay. So, it's the impression of rose that how we are creating over here. Add one more this side. See how I'm adding this curve. Add one more over here. Okay, like this. Then we'll define two car here. Define that hair band that she is wearing, which comprise of this flower. Like this. We'll make this eyebrows quite broad to define her characteristic. And we'll shade it like this. We'll define the pupil more. Let's mark uh, two black dots like this. And a circle here that we keep for highlight. And then we'll dark the remaining section. We'll do the same for both sides. And here we'll dark this remaining section. <clears throat> here on neck, I'm adding two curves to define the necklace that she's wearing. Here we define the stir and bring a line down and just add an oval one more circle this side she usually wear this type of jewelry so we'll define that <clears throat> and with this completed with our drawing of the portraiture of frida kahlo we color the same using our oil pistols in next session so practice that as your homework